Hi, in today's video, I'm going to cover a new feature that has been added on Tradetron's condition builder called the runtime variable. Um, so before I walk you through what exactly is this runtime variable, let me tell you what is the problem it is trying to solve. So um, before, before, uh, before discussing about it, let me show you my entry condition. So you can see this entry condition is basically a crossover. And uh, when my crossover happens, when there's a long crossover, I will go long. Um, however, the logic that I want to build is that when this kind of a crossover happens, I want to maintain the low of that particular candle where my entry happened as the stop loss. And uh, based on that, I want to take my train. So in case my low gets, uh, low gets breached, which is happening in this candle, uh, I will take a stop loss and I will exit the trade. So uh, ideally to do something like this would not be possible previously because you would not be able to set a variable uh, with saving the low of that particular candle. Using the runtime variable uh, 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 button, you can now click on this button and you can give a variable name. So let's assume I want to name that variable low. So I'll just call it low and uh, uh, I will then select this FX. So I will just click on this FX and I will use um, my position keyword. So position keyword will then uh, be able to fetch the position of that candle. And I will now look for low. After looking for low, I can choose zero candle or I can choose minus one candle. So if you want the low at the time your trade was taken, at the very moment your trade was taken, uh, that particular candle's low, then you can correct, uh, select zero. But if you want the low of the previous candle, so the minus one candle, uh, when your trade was taken, which means let's assume if your trade was taken here, if you need the low of this candle, in that case, you can select minus one. And if you need the low of this candle, the current candle, the run that the one that is running, you can select zero. Uh, since I need the, um, need the running candles low, I will select zero and I'll select okay. Then it is quite straightforward. I select my instrument name uh and the candle uh, size and once i do that um i will be able to save this as a variable so i'll just click on submit and i will close this now i will just save it and what this will do is that once my entry is triggered once my entry conditions are true my entry trade will be taken of uh, nifty futures and after the trade is taken my runtime variable which is now in green will be generated so the runtime variable will basically generate a variable called low and it will uh, assign a value of the uh, of the of the candles low to that particular variable and this variable will stay until the universal exit is triggered similarly i can also add a variable called high and i can select a value for the same so i'll select position again and let's assume i need to use uh, use let's say high uh, of the minus 1 candle so I can just select minus one. I can again select my instrument name, which in my case is uh, Nifty 50 and the candle size that is five minutes. Once I do that, um, once I do that, uh, you can just uh, select submit and again save this. So you can add any number of variables out here. Uh, a variable name and variable value and you can go uh, you can you can basically get as creative as you like so uh, you can also uh, select a traded instrument or or different keywords just the way you would in your uh, in your condition builder uh, for your strategy so you can you can then uh, uh, then generate these variables and after you close this uh, it will always generate your runtime variables once you need it now let's assume I want to exit based on the low. So I will go to my exit conditions. As you can see, this is the condition for crossover. So I can just add a new condition and I can select LTP. So uh, the logic I'm trying to build is that if my LTP of uh, Nifty 50 goes below the low. So how do I fetch the low? I will basically first fetch my instrument. And after that, I will select less than now I will select get runtime. So get runtime is the keyword by which I will be able to fetch the high and low. So I can select low. And now uh, whatever value is assigned out here. So whenever my trade was taken at, at this point, based on this condition, whenever my trade was taken, whatever was the low will be calculated through this, uh, this, uh, 
this runtime and then it will select an exit and exit will then uh, check for the low based on this get runtime keyword so using this you can um, you can configure your high and low based on your entry candle or you can use a minus one candle or you can check uh, the the ema at that particular point of time or you can check the super trend and so on so this is an excellent feature um, you can also kill that variable so let's assume you need the low only for this point once your exit happens after that you do not want this low anytime again so uh, you can use runtime variable again and you can basically have the same name so i will have again low out here and i will give a value of let's say number zero to it uh, just so that it doesn't trigger uh, trigger uh, you know an, an unwanted uh, trade so i can save this and then i can select high again and assign a number zero to it as well after doing that I will save it and I will close this. So once this happens, what my strategy is doing is the entry will be taken, your position will be taken. And after that, your runtime variable will set the high and low. After your exit happens, once my exit happens, it will then again uh, fire my runtime variables, which will then uh, convert that high and low into zero. That means those variables will be killed. Again, what you can do is at the time of your set two, you can again set your runtime variables the same way I already did. And similarly for exit, you can kill it at the time of exit. So this feature will definitely help you to, uh, to, to improve your trading by, by setting the, um, the, the entry candles high low or the previous, uh, or the candle previous to the entries high and low. So I hope this feature helped you and this video helped you. If you have any other requests about uh, about things you want us to cover, you can feel free to drop us a mail at support at the rate of tatron.tech or drop it in the comments as well. Thank you very much.